Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We're at Home Depot for some holiday shopping and... We're getting our Christmas tree! We're getting our tree. <laughs> uh, Katie's very excited. I love getting a Christmas tree. This is so exciting. Yeah, especially because last year we uh, kind of struck out. We, we The Home Depot we went to had like nothing left. Yeah, it was also uh, kind of hard because we were in Disney World. Uh, now, yeah. if you've been with the channel for a while, you'll remember in 2019, we got our first ever Christmas tree together back yeah. uh, when we were full-time living in Malibu. Yeah. But now that we have our new home here in Orange County, we're gonna get a tree. It's gonna be, it's, I, I'm just so excited the whole thing's happening. It's a big deal. Uh, it smells amazing. It looks like they have a good selection. Uh, so we're gonna find a tree. Uh, and then we're gonna head inside and see what they have as far as holiday decorations and, and all that good stuff. That's right, and if you missed that in the intro, we made the drive out to Tustin. Uh, we heard this Home Depot had a lot of a lot of trees from somebody that uh, lives nearby, so we were like, let's go there because, you know, like we said last year, we kind of struck out. Look, Katie, a tremendous, tremendous beauty. So what we're looking for is a seven to eight foot. Okay. And we want a noble fir. Those are the kind I like. Um, it's just tradition to get a noble fur. I think it hangs the decorations a little bit better too, so. It's a noble choice. Okay, so here is a seven to eight noble fur, 99, which is, I, I figured we were gonna pay about yeah, 100 bucks yeah. for a tree. Now, uh, this is a nice one as far as like height and like diameter, I guess you'd say, but there's a couple of bald spots. Yeah. So we wanna try and find one that's nice and full. We actually have room for it to be a little bit fatter. True. So that's not too bad for us. Um, unfortunately for this guy, it looks like he's getting a little dry. I don't, yeah. I'm not a tree expert or anything, but when I see a little bit of brown, that always worries me a little. True, so, again, and we did have we did have some Santa Ana winds last week, so. Yeah, yeah. Could have I affected mean, some of these guys. Uh, I'm All hoping right. that buying these trees like this will help like support the tree farms. I don't know. Does anybody, if you know any information about that. And then these have become very popular uh, with the cuttings and they make these these little reindeer. Uh, they're decorative reindeer and snowmen. We don't see any snowmen left. Uh, they're irresistibly cute apparently, Katie. They are so uh, cute. Oh, they're handmade in Colorado, okay. <gasps> So the small ones are twenty-seven ninety-eight, and the large ones are forty-three. Okay, and it's a green product because it's using reclaimed timber yeah. from forest mitigation under contract with the Colorado State Forest Service. I love that. Hi. Oh, it looks like He's got binky. Rudolph nose. Why is it? Okay, stand where I was, and it kind of feels like it's like a binky. Oh, that's funny. Looking up at you. Yeah. You're gonna make me spend thirty dollars. Oh, okay. Cutest part right here. Oh, Look he's got at the a, tail! He's got a little tail. Of course you have a tail. Oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. I want it! I want it! Okay, here's a snowman right here, Katie. There's what the snowman looked like. Frosty the snow stump. <laughs> he is a snow stump. I've never seen the snowman. I've seen the reindeer versions before, but the snowman is very cool. I like the reindeer. I want one. He's got a nail sticking out of his top hat, too. We're getting a reindeer. Oh, there's the wreaths. Wreaths. I, I never know if it's wreaths, wreaths. I think it's wreaths. I think. Who knows? Anyways. How much are they charging for these? There is a lot of wreath. Well, these are nice because you can hang them inside and yeah. then they help with that scent. And the wreaths are $21.98. Over here we've got the uh, the Doug fir. Three to four foot, $29.98. Uh, soft needles, sweet fragrance. Look at this little baby. What I like a cute it. Little baby. I like those. That is a cute one. They do smell very, uh, very fragrant. They do. The old Doug furs. Do you like this one? Yeah, it's. it's a, She's a big one. Yeah, it's nice and fat. That's what I like. And tall. It's fat and tall. Oh, the topper is like off to the side a little bit. You see that? Oh. That's a little weird unless you have it facing that way. Yeah, it kind of limits your rotational options. That's true. Because you have to face it this way. If you faced it like this, it would be fine. Yeah. That one also, it seems like a lot of them have these offset tops. Well, they don't go straight up, most of them. Well, some do. I don't mind this one. This is not a bad one. I like it. I mean, none of them are bad, but. Yeah, that one looks pretty even, because yeah. The one next to it's got a few little gaps in it there. Well, this one does 
too, but remember you have some parts of it facing the wall, so this does have a gap or so too. Right. But again, as long as you have it kind of facing the wall. Spin it. All right. Isn't she lovely? Ooh, we got some brownage on that one, on one side of it. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what worries me. I mean, it's not bad. It's all right, I'm not mad at it. It's got a, a big brown patch. That one's all right. The top isn't my favorite, but... Not speaking to me. She's cute though. She's a cutie. Okay, so we found. Oh. Let me see what size this is. That's seven to eight. These are all seven to eights. It's on the, the higher side, of, closer to eight. Yeah, that's definitely closer to eight. You know, the top is just a bit ugly. Hate to say that, I'm sorry, Mr. Tree. We might have to unravel a few. At least there's like good options, you know? Remember, so when we came to Anaheim, I think we went to that one. Huh, that one's okay. It's a little gappy, but I think if you like, you know how you lift it up and kind of give it a shake? I feel like some of the branches might fall a bit. Too much of a gap up there, huh? Right there, yeah. yeah. But overall, that's like the proportion and height that I want. You know? So yeah, when we came last year, if you watched our video, they had, you know, these sections like this and there were only like were less than a handful. And I, it's not like we were super late to the game, right? No, it's just that last year, that's, it was a big deal because nobody was Right. doing anything except buying trees and decorating right, their house. Right, We were really not in a... Uh, so these are getting into the six to seven now, so we gotta stay. Okay, yeah, and then these are eight to nine. So this is kind of our area. Yeah, it wasn't the one, this was the one I kind of liked. And this then one. this one. I think it was these Yeah, you did two. like this one, it was just the top, but I guess we could pull it out. Yeah, let's pull it out and take a look. So if you were facing, this way. Okay. It's not bad. It's pretty good. I mean, she's cute. She's definitely got a bald spot on this side, right here. Big old gap right here. But that would be the side. That would be facing the wall. Yeah, and we could trim off any of these. I don't know. We got a little gap here. But then it'll all fall into place too. A little bit. Hmm. I mean, it's a contender, 100%. I wish it were a little bit more proportioned up top. That's well, like like I think this we have one. To cut our losses and figure out. Well, I kind of am going between. I think it was. I think this was the other one. It was these two. Kind of like that one. That's a good one. Is it just your hand? Is that why those aren't really falling? Or is it just kind of... Okay. I wonder if we can kind of bring these down a little bit. Just to yeah, you can. I mean, it's got a good height. It's not too fat. It's, I mean, it's not perfect, but you're not going to find a perfect tree. I mean, that side will obviously be facing the wall. Because this side is super bare. Alright, we're kind of, I think, settled on this one. We keep coming back to it. Yeah, we've looked at a lot of different ones. It's not perfect on the top, but it's got a nice But it's body. got a good overall shape. And like size and it feels a triangular. Right. It's got a good triangular shape and it's, yeah, it's proportioned really well. Yeah, I feel like, you know, we can put some decorations up here to kind of like cover up the, the bare spot. Yeah. But I, I mean, overall I like it. it. It was between this one, this one, or that one. This one's really thick. Yeah. This one has very few gaps. It's really lush and I'm thick. I'm not seeing like giant brown patches. No. It that's, seems pretty healthy. That's a really thick, like, as far as like, you know, there's a yeah. lot of branches. 
We have a big gap in the back here, but again, you gotta have you gotta to have, face the wall. You gotta have a side to face the wall, so. This would be the side that, that I'm on. I'm the wall right now. What do you think? With well, you being actually, the wall, yeah, it looks pretty good. We have two walls, so it's like this. It'd be in a corner. Yeah, because it's like, like this angle here is really good. And that's what we would see. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, right there. I think that's... That's it? That's a good choice. All right. A noble choice, Katie. You know, the thing is, too, you don't want it to be absolutely perfect because perfection doesn't exist in nature. Correct. Through the ditch. Alright, I'm gonna tilt it on the side that's going against the wall. They've also got some really cool yard inflatables. Kind of a lot of the standard stuff. But I've never seen this one that has like texture on them. Usually they're just vinyl, but look, he's like he's like a real teddy bear. And of course Olaf. Olaf representing. You could get a little Santa or a big giant Santa with a candy cane. Or the old Saint Bernard with the whiskey barrel. Alright, we just got a fresh cut on it and uh, they're gonna net it up. Look at this, look at this cool device that, that nets it up. Boom, done. Genius right there. So they're gonna hold it for us while we run inside. But real quick, there's Charlie Brown and Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. Uh, we did, definitely didn't get that one this year, but you know, they do sell those. I've seen them with the one ornament where it's like bowling it over. I love it. Oh my God, Katie's, Katie, you are an elf. I knew you were an elf and the I whole time. And I just wanna be a dentist. You did? <laughs> That's it. I just want to be a dentist. Oh my gosh. Hey look, there's Frosty. That's like the OG Frosty too. Happy birthday. Yeah, <laughs> that's totally him. That's the Grinch's dog that he forces to be a reindeer and ties that oppressively heavy antler bone on his head. There's the instigator right there, Mr. Grinch. Grinch himself. Yeah. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. And we got to give props real quick to the Christmas parrot. Very Margaritaville. Charlie would like that. And is that a hit Mickey right there? Okay, so that was a, a lot more successful than last year. And uh, we're gonna go throw this in the car. They're gonna hold the tree for us out there while we go inside and see if there's anything else we want. Well, we definitely need some more lights. We do need lights and we're gonna just see what else they got. Yep. They had some cool Christmas stuff last year, as I recall. Yeah, I hope we still have our star. Oh yeah, we, I think we do. I don't know, I didn't see it in the box. All right, as we head in, look outside. They've got some, I think these are living uh, Christmas trees, these little ones here. Those are pretty cool. And then of course, poinsettia. Yeah. And they're going fast, these uh, these poinsettias. I like these because you always hear the story of like, you see that tree in my front yard? That was a tree we bought. Here's the picture of it and you know. Yeah. And then it's a giant tree that you, you know, have for. Yeah, this one's interesting. It's uh, very. Uh, Cedar? I don't know. It's, it's very different, but it's, uh, it's an option. It's an option as well, Katie. Oh, right away. We've got some signage, Katie. Welcome to the North Pole, Candy Cane Lane. We had one of those in my neighborhood growing up. I bought this headband and I've been waiting all year to wear it. Yeah, it's uh, Christmas Lady Liberty. I don't know. It's a beautiful headband. <laughs> I've been waiting all year for this moment. Look Ooh. what I've procured. They smell like cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Smell. Right? Yeah. Okay, so another thing, they have these at Trader Joe's and they are evergreen scented too. Oh, and the old cinnamon pine cones are five bucks each for the... Nice little bag of them. And then we've got some uh, some branches, some with uh, with pine cones, kind of painted silver. And I'm assuming this is kind of a potpourri. We've got Crimson Spice, we've got Autumn Sage, Fireside Retreat. I like the look of that one. And then they've got these little, they're almost like little mini brooms. And they're all different flavors. Tangy Mango Punch, Cherry Blossom Drift, Apple Splendor Bloom. And then they've got even like tinier little, little brush versions of them over here. And then all these kind of decorative kind of branchy dried flower oh hidden mickey and then of course artificial trees of which we had a chat about we were thinking you know maybe we're going to do this for next year we, we don't know this close but we figured we moved this year yeah that costs a lot so we'll wait until next year but i mean when you think about it uh it is a good cost effective thing because you pay once and you get it for you know you could have it for 10 years right? yeah you could Especially if you stay in one place, yeah. you know? Yeah, this one, these lights change color, which is cool. 
All right, 498. There it is, the window snow. Santa snow, that's a spray can, so of course I love it. Now, I think the key with this, though, is to not overdo it. I think people sometimes overdo it. Right. Uh, just be subtle with it, you know? Be a light dusting. But there you go, 498. Now here's another artificial that's uh, frosted tips and frozen looking with white lights. Even, it's even got little pine cones going on there. Katie uh, says, this is the one she wants. It, you know what? You can see even uh, some color in some of those frosted parts there. I don't know if you guys see that on camera. Yeah, you can kind of, there you go. You can see some of the color in there. Here's some uh, wreaths. But they look good. Ones that are oh, they, they have lights. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right there, right there. Katie, a tinsel wreath for oh. for eight ninety eight, right there. All right. And also for eight ninety eight, this this one here, kind of basic. Here's a pine cone version for twelve ninety eight. Yeah, if you want to rock a flock, <laughs> there you go, twelve ninety eight with the bow. All right, fifty <laughs> feet of artificial garland for seven ninety eight. That's I feel a good like deal. If you have a tree that's really bold, uh, bald, you could use that to you could maybe fill, it in. fill it in a little oh, bit. That's a good call. If it matched the color. Right. Well, even if it didn't, though, you know, you yeah. kind of just have a little something to bulk it up. If you want to really step up the garland game for $49.98, you can get this mixed pine LED pre lit garland with a timer. So that's, wow. you know, you're getting the lights and the timer with that. And uh, oh, there it is. Thank you, Katie. All right, now we're getting into some stuff that I'm into. It's just like Binky if she had uh, little reindeer ears and she was made of tinsel. It is a little dachshundy, but it's it's almost it's a little smaller than Binky, but I kind of like that. The eight bucks. Uh, got a Nutcracker right there, Mr. Nutcracker. And then here, uh, look, it's the family truckster from National Lampoon. Apparently, these are animated. I don't know how. Uh, it looks like they've got wheels in the bottom. It's Cousin Eddie's um, vehicle. RV, I believe. And then check out the Nutcracker uh, lineup here. Nutcracker Alley. Yeah, Nutcracker Alley, definitely. I like the skier guy. He's my favorite. And uh, <laughs> those are $9.98. And I remember these from last year, the, the giant C9 uh, bulbs that light up. Now, it looks like they probably have more colors, probably red and green, that are gone. Here's a white one. I think they're eight bucks. I think they're seven ninety eight. Oh, we found another tinsel dog. This is more like it looks like Snoopy almost, but another tinsel dog. And check this out. This is really cool. It's the old truck, tinsel truck. It's got a wreath on the front. It's carrying a big old tree in the back. Those are uh, nineteen ninety eight. So for five ninety eight, these are the uh, snow blanket, snow cover. Uh, how many feet of it is? We uh, some snow, like the actual like fluffy snow over at Target. Yeah. So we're good. These are cool. Nine ninety eight. Tinsel candy canes. I love this. Now growing up, I used to have uh, foam ones of these. Oh, that's cool. That were a little bit fatter, and then we would mount them on uh, kind of our hand railing going up to the house. That's, that's what these cool. remind me of. But you could buy multiples of these. You can make a path. Katie's gonna use it as a cane. Yes. Whack you with it. <laughs> no, no, no. And then we've got some artificial white silk poinsettias for $7.98. Those are nice. Those are really pretty. I like the white. Something else I couldn't find a price on, but it's a 14-inch deluxe nativity set. Wreath hangers. Yeah, there's a jingle bell version. There's a uh, snowflake version. I like the jingle bell. And then a standard. Uh, standard version. I really like the jingle bell one. Yeah, because when the door opens it makes a little jingle jangle. Jingle jingle jangle. Okay, a uh, 30 inch fir tabletop tree for 30 bucks. Here's a good deal. This is 50 feet of garland, artificial garland with lights. For how much, Katie? 19.98. For 20 bucks. That's pretty cool. That's a good idea. Check this out. Spruce potted LED pre-lit tree with lantern. Oh, it's up there on display. You can see it. That's that's interesting. That's very unique. I've not seen that. And then another artificial tree with lights with that wicker basket kind of vibe going. And then we've got a plethora of yard decor. And then this display's got a bunch of different little mini artificials going on here. A lot of different versions. The holly berries. It's the, from the greenery. The greenery. Yeah, a lot of different options here. I like these little mini frosted ones. Like you could use that like on a desk or something. Yeah, those are cute. They're twelve ninety eight for those little babies. And again, little mantle desktop type of uh, artificial decorations there with a poinsettia. It's like a little combination thing there with a little pot. A very wide selection of artificial pre-lit trees here, you know, that come with LED lights. 
Got a lot of options. Katie, you remember the plush pan? Yeah. You know what this is? What? Poinsettia pan, yes. Yes. Okay, look at this, for 250, an eight foot LED giant gift box decor thing. Look at this, that is cool. You can see the lights right there. And then right next door to the gift boxes, look at this giant nutcracker LED decoration. Lights up. Look at those eyes too. He's got blinking eyes, like digital blinking eyes. He's judging you, Katie. He's definitely judging you. Here's all the light assortments, the little mini LED lights, which we have to figure out which ones to get. I kind of think we should just go with the white and uh, color changing. This one right here. Because then you just get it all, you know what I mean? There's also dome LED where they're not pointed and they're like little kind of spherical. There's the breakdown of the sizes, C3, C6, and C9. This is interesting. It's an LED Santa illusion projector. Santa's not an illusion, Katie. I, I don't know if I... He's real. I don't know if I like this product. No, it's... I'm kidding. Uh, but that's cool. I like that. He's a colored uh, Santa projection for the wall. I don't see a price. Again, uh... The thing is why he... Some of the things really aren't labeled for price, but Spencer keeps... He's a big fan of finding things that people just set back somewhere, and then he goes, I don't see a price. Well, I well, guess the way they do it at Home Depot is like this. It's so if definitely, it's, yeah. They it's, label the shelf and not the product. Yeah. So yeah. that so becomes a little it. difficult when things get moved around, and there's one left, and it's just randomly placed. So yeah, uh, maybe forgive me, would, but, uh, you know. Maybe it's time you put on your, your candy cane specs. So what so is this for? Is this every light you look at will look like a candy cane shape. So there's a whole, a whole line of these for a buck ninety-eight. They're called uh, holiday specs. I thought for a minute that they were going to do a 3D movie on TV, and we were going to buy these and get to watch a 3D Christmas movie. But eh, that's cool. It's the holiday beaver. Oh, this is the guy that we saw uh, in the display outside. He's actually textured uh, like a like he's a fuzzy. I thought he was a teddy bear, but he's a he's a beaver because he's got those teeth. And uh, Little beaver. Yeah, seven foot. But he's textured, not like the, the Bar St. Bernard we saw out there. He's just like, you know, uh, vinyl or I don't know what the inflatables are made out of. This one is the first one I've seen that's like textured. He's 129 bucks. Mr. St. Bernard is $68. And he's huge. There's the Nutcracker. He's 12 foot. He's 169 bucks. He also lights up and he's on display right here. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's giant. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's pretty massive. Wow. Look at that goatee. And then... This is very traditional. The six-foot LED dachshund uh, for 35 bucks. I have never seen this. I'm kidding when I say it's traditional. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, I like it. And I do like that it's a... He's a pride dachshund. He is. Which he is, is nice. He's, I would give him a high five. He's an all-inclusive holiday dachshund. And there's the dachshund up there. He's actually... He's pretty large. Not quite as big as, as Mr. St. Bernard, obviously, but... Uh, He's big. So this is, uh, it's a photorealistic airblown inflatable of Ralphie in the bunny costume from A Christmas Story for $49.98. There he is up there in all his glory when he makes his way down the stairs and has to show his costume and his dad's like, just let him take it off. Go take it off. Like, didn't his aunt uh, make that for him or something? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. This is a uh, four and a half foot LED feeding reindeer. So I guess he's, uh, I thought maybe he, he craned his head back and forth, but I think he just lights up. Also for 99 bucks, the three foot LED rocking horse. I wondered if he rocked, I don't think he rocks. I think they would advertise that if he rocked, but he just lights up. Now next to the feeding reindeer is a four and a half foot LED standard reindeer with his antlers. He's got a little, little snow in his antlers there. Here's some pillows for 13 bucks, let it snow. Winter wishes and the happy holidays reindeer. He's very excited. He looks a little sleepy actually. He's been working hard. So this is the reindeer we saw over by the trees that was uh, standing up over there with the white lights, $79.98. And there's a five and a half foot version where he's like, you know, he's, he's mid jump. He's mid gazelle. And check this out over here. We got a 50 pound bag of Quick Creek 5000 commercial grade. Oh wait, my bad, sorry, Christmas video getting sidetracked here at Home Depot. All right, there's uh, the lights that you chose. 300 so, times three, we got 900 lights. Yeah, actually you're supposed to get about a thousand. So it's a what? Per, per foot of tree. Oh, wow. It says- um, You're not messing around. Use a hundred lights for every one foot of tree. 
So we have about an eight foot tree. So that's about right. All right, how much are those? They are eight bucks a box. Eight bucks, all right, we're in for 25 for the lights, okay. And then if I happen to find our box of extra lights that we had, then I'll take a box back. All right, but... Katie is pulling the car around to have the, uh, the guys help us strap the tree to the top of the car. We got a blanket so we don't scratch the car. Uh, they're gonna help us strap it down properly because we do have a bit of a drive to get home and I do not want that thing flying off. Uh, we paid a hundred bucks for it. I wanted to make it safe. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. More importantly, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that your notification bell is activated because we are gonna go live with the decorating of the tree at the house. You're not gonna wanna miss that. That's tomorrow. And that's gonna wrap it up from Home Depot for Katie and myself. We'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Hey, look. They got free uh, tree trimmings right here that you can make little uh, like door uh, wreath type things or little little hangers. They're sitting right there. Those are the cuttings from when uh, they trim your tree up. That's really cool. And they even have the cuttings from the trunks of the trees uh, that you can make ornaments out of or coasters or whatever. That's cool. Those are free as well. Anyways, we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye bye everybody. Hey.